Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on how to do a perfect bun. Now I've done another bun on the sock bun and on another one that has a different kind of weird device. But this one is just kind of using bobby pins and your hair. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like more than three feet of hair. Like it just keeps going. So if you have shorter hair or layers, it's just going to be a little bit different for you. But this, I feel like, is the best way to do it. It's the most convenient, it makes the most sense, and it can last in the longest. You can sleep in these, things like that. The other problem I do have with when you have bobby pins in is you cannot lay back on the back of your head. So like if you're in a car and you were to like put your head back, those bobby pins are gonna like totally gnarl into your head and they're gonna bother your head. That is the only problem with it. Although I think if you're just using rubber bands or hair bands, the problem is they don't last long. You're going to be putting it up again and again and again and again. So if you have a good one, a good bun, it can last you several days. Uh, a sock bun works really well if you have a small amount of hair or if you're just really good at sock buns. And then the other weird device that I have works pretty well, but once again with this much hair, the bun ends up being like this big and it looks a little ridiculous. So this is what I normally do and it seems to work really well for me, so let's see if it works for you. Okay, so when I first do it, I like to do braids because I just like braiding. So I'm not going to do one for this, but what I'll normally do is I'll just start braiding here and around. The thing is, if you're not really good at braiding, then what's going to happen is you're going to have all these wispies. And when you do have braids, you want to make sure that you use a lot of gel. Let's get started. by brushing all my hair back so I get a smooth front. It's an optional step of putting your hair in a low ponytail, but I just do not prefer to. Then I take my left hand and I begin to twist, and there's this twist that you're going to see to start to develop. Then I'm going to take bobby pins, open them up, and start to push them in. I'm going to be alternating hands around while twisting and maintaining that twist to make sure that it gets in really tight. And I just do body pins all the way around. Next was I added a hairnet and then added bobby pins to the sides of my head to secure any flyaways. Remember to keep all your bobby pins black, all your hair bands black. Black is a universal color pretty much unless you have white hair, but make sure that you match them to the color of your hair. No like barrettes, like flowers, ribbons, anything like that needs to be in your hair. And remember to keep it low because remember you are going to be wearing a cover. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, you learned a little bit about it, and hope you make some good buns. I'll see you next time. Bye!